Well, George, yesterday when you were outside on the weather deck, it was nice and sunny still, but now with daylight saving over, we're back to the darkness at 630. <laughs> yeah, a little dark out here on the weather deck. But what a fabulous day, Elena. Wonderful. Uh, hopefully you got out and had uh, time to enjoy it. I uh, finally cleaned up my lawn and uh, put my lawnmower to bed for the winter. Well, let's take a look at a beautiful end to our day. We have a nice time lapse uh, from about 4 o'clock on. We had these high clouds come in this afternoon as anticipated. They're going to thin on out and it was a great sunset. It was an hour earlier than we saw yesterday. 13 weather ball green, no change to the mild weather pattern for seen in this view. Sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Look at how warm it got today. Around 60 at the lake shore, but away from the lake, it made it into the mid 60s. A little warmer than I anticipated. The average high is 51. But last year we had a record high of 71 degrees. This is the first time in 10 days we have not hit our forecast target. We were outside of that by three or more degrees. We'll try to get back on track on your Monday. Speaking of Monday, dropping into the mid 40s as skies become clear again overnight and we'll start the day with sunshine again tomorrow. Maybe not quite as warm, but we'll get up around that 60 degree mark as the winds pick up out of the south and southwest. These high clouds came in and they're going to go out just as quickly as they came in. Uh, the only Active weather is right along the eastern seaboard where there's a big low pressure system there. But back to the west, a couple of weakening fronts coming across the upper Midwest. So only a little chance of some rain now during the day on Tuesday. The best chance will come during the day on Thursday. We can see that in the upper level winds. That's where that storm system is right there. And there's a little hint of a trough right in through here. That's Tuesday's light rain. Bigger system coming down and diving through for Thursday and Friday. That's going to lead to a chillier weekend. Highs only in the 40s will be exactly the opposite of this weekend, but the models are now indicating that we're going to lose that cold air and we're going to start to warm up again a middle part of the following week on Wednesday. In terms of snowfall, where is that going to be falling? Up here in the Pacific Northwest, as usual, uh, the Colorado and Wyoming Rockies, and now staying pretty much along the U.S.-Canadian border. Very little chance of seeing any significant or even maybe even snowflakes here in West Michigan. That will take us through at least the 17th of November. Chances of rain uh, dropping on Tuesday. About 60% of the area will see the ground get wet. Best chance will come on Thursday and then drying out Friday over the weekend early next week. Just to trace amounts or very little in terms of rainfall. Long range outlook still says we're going to be cold from the 15th through the 21st over much of the eastern half of the country with warm weather out west. We'll have a near average uh, chances for the usual amount of rain and snow, and that's about seven tenths of an inch of, inch of a rain and an inch and a half of snow if we do get any. Tomorrow, though, look for sunny skies. Highs right around 60 north, low 60s from Muskegon Holland southward. Up north, you'll be around 60 plus or minus a degree or so. A little bit of a southwest breeze here, and from Grand Rapids southward, low 60s, ranging from 61 to 63. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> will stay above average through at least of Thursday. Uh, most of the area will see rain on Thursday ending on Friday morning. They'll return for Friday afternoon through Sunday with scattered showers and then cool weather as we get into the following week with highs only in the 40s.